Hey everybody, Neil here with Galaxy S4 Soft Modder and I'm going to show you how to make your own very awesome stop motion animation videos. If you're familiar with Nightmare Before Christmas or Paranorman, then those are prime examples of stop motion animation. What these uh, artists basically do is have an object or a, or a little, in this case, a little, uh, little figure and they'll move it in small increments and grab a frame of that and when they're all done they'll have about hundreds of thousands of frames and they put them all together and it looks like these little objects are moving on their own uh, those films can compile up to hundreds of thousands of uh, frames just for a 70 minute movie so today you're not going to be taking that many little pictures but I'm going to show you how to make your own which is still pretty cool and takes a little bit of time so the free application is called PicPack available on Google Play tap on it create new project there's two ways I use the local photos or you can uh, extract pictures from a video this uh, method is a little bit less precise and uh, takes a little bit more time because you gotta select every individual frame so for the sake of this video I'm gonna use uh, only local photos so let's actually go ahead and create a, a, um, a project because I took 109 photos earlier of this little figure of an ape so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna select all of them that I want to use so let's just quickly do this what the video one essentially does is you would record a video of you perform the actions and after you uh, import it to the application you would have to select the frames which the application breaks down breaks your video down into individual frames so I don't really trust it that much so I use my own pictures because I know that they came out right so sorry I did so many I actually took about a hundred almost 110 pictures for a seven second a seven second clip that you'll see alright so after I selected all of them I'm gonna continue and it's gonna take a little while so I might fast forward this it's gonna actually import them and process them through the app all right, so this is done, bringing in all 111 of my individual pictures I took. So quickly, there's some options you have up top. Reverse is only available for um, for the premium version. It just reverses the order of the pictures. Uh, fast pick lets me perform some bulk actions if I want to select all pictures every second, every third, or clear all. Clean will let me delete. I don't want to do. I don't want to remove a picture. Um, speed editor. All right, so this little thing right here is my preview screen I press play you can see it's pretty slow I don't want to make a video that slow actually you can leave it on while you adjust the speed uh, so adjust the speed and it tells you how long your video is going to be all the way up is a uh, every individual frame lasts for 1 25th of a second so uh, the, the video takes uh, 7 seconds in total uh, and it looks the cleanest when you make it the fastest or you can adjust it and then you can preview real quick So let's just try this one out okay that looks good to me so I would continue with this arrow up top I would name it let's name it ape next done um, you can't change the size if you want pay 199 and you'll be able to uh, get 1080p but right now all you get is 240 unfortunately but it still looks alright so I'm gonna go ahead and create the video after it's done processing, it gives me the option of adding music. Um, for the sake of this video, I will not add music, but you can add it, and the app actually informs you that if you're going to add music that's not your own, don't share it publicly, just in case. So we'll see that right now, and we're going to skip that option. So Ape, I can play it, I can record, I can get some local music. Um, I don't want to do that, so let's just continue. No audio recorded, I know that. Oh, I might have to hit, I don't want to use audio. So you're going to have to tap, I don't want to use audio. Alright, from here, you can share. Uh, you can save it, use an email, Google+, Instagram, Facebook. But uh, let's actually see my project. Take a look at it. Alright, so there you have it. It was about 10 seconds and it took 109 photos. Uh, there's a bunch of things you can do. Check out the article. There's another video I did of me spinning and moving forward. 
it's pretty cool. So check out the article on uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 soft modder. But uh, actually, let's uh, let's go back now and let's see another feature that's included. Oops, which is time lapse. So I mean, I'm sure you've seen a video or a reality TV show where they have a uh, stupid cutscenes of the sky changing, you see the sunset. Uh, so we're gonna you can actually do your own. Take a time lapse photo. You tap on this, and it's only in landscape. And you adjust the intervals of how often it takes a picture. So you would uh, put it somewhere stationary outside a window. Make sure it's tr it's uh, plugged in or it's fully charged because this can waste some battery as you're leaving it on. Uh, you can change the increments of how often it takes a picture. So uh, two seconds, five seconds, ten seconds, thirty seconds, sixty seconds, two minutes, five minutes if you want. And the highest output you have is 1280 by 720. Um, now you, you might be disrupted. You might get a call in the middle of the night or a text or an email that will disrupt your um, awesome time lapse. So what you can do is actually enable airplane mode and that will prevent anyone from disrupting your awesome time lapse. So you would just leave it somewhere stationary, press play. Every two seconds it's taking a picture. Now here's a little quick tip. You can actually use the time lapse feature to your benefit in making a stop motion. So say you don't want to constantly be pressing the shutter button when you're when you're making a little video like I did with the ape, you can actually schedule it to take a oops, let's stop. You can actually schedule it to take a picture every uh I don't know, what would what would help 5 seconds, which I think is a is enough time for me to adjust the figure. You can just say every 10 seconds, 5 seconds. So uh, I would adjust the figure, take a picture, adjust the figure, take a picture, uh, if you prefer. I still prefer taking my own pictures, but uh, check it out. It's an awesome app. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with it. Upgrade for 199 you get that 1080p. And please check out the full article. You get another example video, which is cool. Check it out on Samsung Galaxy S4 Softmodder. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.